Hello, sweet soul. I'm reading a fascinating book right now. It's called The Quantum Revelation. And it describes quantum physics, not out of the mouth of somebody who has studied physics in depth, instead from somebody who has read about quantum physics and can describe it really well in layman's terms. And also brings across the message really well that we live in a participatory universe which means there is no objective reality we often try to get to an objective reality observation in science me being a researcher i have often been asked about some of the experiments that i've done especially around the area of well-being using breathwork and so on if my interest in promoting this breathing technique that supposedly is very relaxing and restorative if that influences my research somehow and yes there is always a bias because we're humans and we are observing something and by us observing the reality in a participatory universe we are affecting that reality now Quantum physics is not a topic that I usually talk about here. So why do I bring it up? I bring it up because the most skeptical people, the ones who very much want to base everything they believe in on science, because then they say, well, I essentially don't have to believe in anything because there is evidence, there is a fact. It shows people that hold that position that even though they may be looking hard for evidence, eventually they will be finding evidence that confirms their own underlying beliefs of whatever nature they are. Whether we have a positive worldview or a negative worldview, or whether we have a certain specific belief about something that we will discover or will not discover, we will find the evidence. This is called a confirmation bias. It's one of the known cognitive human biases. That, together with the quantum theory, makes it even more important that we recognize our own beliefs, whatever they are, and that we own them, that we own which energy and which intention and which attitude we bring to a situation, because it will strongly influence the outcome. For me, that means doing my morning practice every single day, because I know that that gets me into a relaxed state. That, that way I'm less reactive, that that way I can be more in my own energy, can be centered and respond to the world based on what I want to see in the world and based on what I wish to create in the world. And so I very much want to encourage you to find what your practice is, what gets you to a good place in the morning. It could be three minutes, it could be 10, whatever gets you in the right space to be present to be fully available to be in alignment with your wishes and intentions and to also be present with reality so it's not about making reality confirm to my beliefs it's about finding the alignment between the present and my intentions